What's up, YouTube? Alright, so I was, um, thinking about filming this video earlier today. I decided to because, as you know, it was my birthday the other day. I was going to show you what I bought with my, um, gift cards I bought. So, I got this the other day. I got knocked up on DVD on Blu-ray. The very old movie, but very funny. It's a, it's a movie about a guy who has a one-night stand, and then he and the girl don't, um, click well the next day, and then she ends up getting pregnant, and then she talks to him, and then she, um, tells him that they got pregnant, tells, tells him that she got pregnant, and it has a lot of, um, good actors to it, um, it's got Seth Rogen, um, yeah, so it's got a movie with Seth Rogen, Katherine Heigl, Paul Rudd, Leslie Mann, Jason Siegel, Jay Barish, oh, Jonah Hill, Martin Starr, and Charlene Yee. Alright, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, they also made a sequel to this movie called, um, This is 40, which is the sequel to Knocked Up, but didn't have Katherine Heigl and Seth Rogen. And then I think um, Leslie Mann, who who was in Georgia Jungle, I think her real life daughters were in here because she um, was Paul Rudd's um, um, wife in the movie, and she was Judd Apatow, and she's married to Judd Apatow. Judd Apatow was the director of this movie, and he. And, uh, he's frequently casted Jason Siegel and this whole crew. Um, I think, yeah, his daughters, um, Iris Apatow and Maude Apatow were in this, and they were also in This Is 40, the sequel to Knocked Up, which didn't have Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl, but it had Paul Rudd, um, let me see. The, the only ones from, the only ones who came in from 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 the only ones who came in from Knocked Up were Paul Rudd, Leslie Mann, Maud Apatow, Iris Apatow, Jason Siegel, and uh, Jody, the Charlene Yee, the one I can't really pronounce. And I think that might be it. I'm not too sure because some other people came in. Um, that's all I can remember. Um, and then. Yeah, and I got this also, a Samsung watch band for my um, Samsung watch I, I bought a few months ago, and it's my favorite color, which is orange, um, which orange became my favorite color a few years ago. It used to just be my favorite color to wear because I realized that I thought a friend of mine said I looked good in orange, so I decided to uh, go more with orange, and then I just went, then since I wear orange all the time, since I wear orange a lot, I just went, what the heck? So I just made orange my favorite color, which actually, I like the color orange a lot. Okay. Then I bought this. Give me a break. I have heard about this, sh this show from a friend of mine. They said it was really funny, and I like family sitcoms. Because it has, this one's got three, it's got, and, and it looks like it's got six people living together, and... I like family shows, except I know the dad, the actor died, so they wrote him out of the show. Yeah. And then I bought this, the whole set of Family Matters. I've seen season one, and it's a big family show. You have, in the first few seasons, you have eight people living in the house. You got, like, a mom and a dad, then you have three kids, and a and the uh, yeah you have a mom a dad three kids then you have the mom's sister and her um and the mom's sister's son and then you have the mother of the dad and one kid left the show because Steve Urkel stole the spotlight 
and this had nine seasons to it. Yeah. And, um, so far what I've seen of this show is very enjoyable. It's another TGIF show, and I've watched a lot of TGIF shows over the years. I've seen Full House, which is my favorite so far. I've seen Boy Meets World, which is my second, just a little bit behind Full House. I give Full House the 100, and I give Boy Meets World a 99.5 or a 99 because of Uncle Jesse in Full House. And then I've seen Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The reason I love that show so much is because of all the friendships and the cat. I love the ants, the cat, and everything, and Sabrina, and the friends she has, and Harvey. And um, I've seen Step by Step, which is another good one, and Sister, Sister. This would be the sixth, and then there's one more I want to check out. Which, yeah. And then I got this, a Superman cape. I got the idea because I watched um, Fred Claus, where... Kevin Spacey, which is actually kind of ironic that he asked for a Superman cape because it was kind of funny because he played Lex Luthor in Superman Returns and he asked for a Superman cape at one point. And then I got a Superman shirt. I used to have one of these when I was when I was younger. That's what I bought with my Amazon cards that I got and uh, and the other gift card I got. Thought I'd film that and. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.